Welcome to day six of the Seeker's Guide to Soul Contact, consisting of 365 lessons to take the seeker from pure material consciousness to consciousness that will expand to the soul level or the level of the spirit. And when this happens, all things become possible for the seeker. We are currently on day six, and the theme for today is My Feelings Hide the Light of the Soul. Now visualize the earth on a sunny day, basking in the rays of the sun. Then see times that storms arise with clouds, dust, and mist that block the sun and turn the skies dark. The earth is a symbol of you. And the sun is the light of the soul. The storms are symbolic of your feelings. This illustrates, illustrates a truth that must be absorbed. No matter how often your feelings seek control and create inner storms that block the light, the light is always there and never fails. Just like the sun continues to shine beyond and above the storms, no matter how fierce they may be. In the days of Jesus, a great storm arose, which blocked the sun and put great fear into the hearts of the disciples on the ship. They approached the master exclaiming, save us, lest we perish. He who had control over the emotions had stilled them to perfect peace and extended that peace and spoke to the out of control storm saying, peace, be still. Had he not already spoken those words to his own feelings, he would have had no power over the storm. The disciples had no power over the storm because their feelings were as disturbed as the storm itself. To bask in the light of the inner sun, the seeker must follow the example of the Christ and assume power over the emotions to the extent that he can, can command them to uh, be at peace and to be still so that they will not interfere with seeing the inner light. Obtaining this power is not something the seeker will accomplish overnight, but it is important that he see the end result of this. If he knows that the reward is great, he will be motivated and become a master of his or her feelings. Students who read this will be at various stages of mastery over the feeling nature, but all are subject to emotional storms that block the sun. Even Jesus allowed an emotional storm to manifest within himself as he chased the money changers out of the temple. This was not an unwanted storm, but an example of right use of emotion. Nevertheless, in that state, he could have not calmed the seas, but being a master, all he had to do was withdraw, still himself again, and in short order, he could have calmed the storm again. Even so it is with us. No matter how advanced we think we are, there are circumstances that can call forth powerful emotions. Sometimes it is right to allow them to manifest if the end is good. Usually it is best if they are controlled and remain still. When your emotions are stormy for whatever reason, it is important that you detach yourself from them, see yourself as the observer, and speak to them saying, peace, be still. In today's assignment, the seeker is to look within and examine his feelings and ask these questions. Are all past storms within me stilled? Or are, are the waters still choppy? Are the winds in motion and the sky yet overcast hiding the sun? 
Can a full-fledged storm beyond your control break out at any moment? Am I fearful about money, the political situation, or some relationship? Do I hold hostile feelings toward fellow humans? Tune in to your feelings throughout the day and try to honestly assess their state and then say the words of Christ, peace, be still. Allow about 10 seconds to lapse between the word peace and be still. After you say these words, pay very focused attention to feeling the peace and the stillness. Attempt to do this three or more times during the next 24 hours. So remember the affirmation of, affirmation of the day, peace. Be still. See you tomorrow.